Hello everyone, this is Hello Angel of Design. Today we are making this beautiful dress step-by-step -step tutorial. In my previous video, I make a pattern paper of a peasant dress and I will put it right here for you to see. If you have not watched that video, please, I will recommend that you should go and watch how I make the pattern paper. Someone make a comment saying that I should show how to make the dress. That means I should use the pattern paper that I make to make the dress. So I said to myself, okay, I'm going to show you that make that comment how to make the dress. Please watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out. This dress making, I have made three different kinds of sleeve. You can see the way this sleeve look is different. And this sleeve has elastic around the hem. You can add elastic, you can decide not to add elastic. And I also have a, another one right here. This one is wind sleeve. So this wind sleeve, if you want to know how to make that, I will recommend that please watch the video until the end because I'm going to show you how to adjust your pattern paper so that you can achieve this wind sleeve. Because this wind sleeve, this, the sleeve is not all the way around the armhole. So I will show you how to adjust your pattern paper and how to achieve this gap right here. So please continue to support us, continue to like our video and share our video to your friends and loved ones. And let's get started. This is my fabric. I'm using this beautiful fabric. You can use any fabric of your choice. My fabric is a cotton fabric. And this is my pattern paper. I have shown on my YouTube how to make a peasant pattern paper. If you have not watched the video, I will recommend that you should go and watch the video and I will also put the link on the description box below. If you are going to make your dress, make sure to add seam allowance at the armhole and at the side seam and also at the hem level. Depends on the seam allowance that you prefer. So you go ahead and add your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter on the armhole side seam. At the hem level, I add about 2.5 centimeter or one inch. Once you do that, you just take your sleeve, place it like this and trace it all out. That means your sleeve also include the seam allowance. What I'm going to do, I am going to place my pattern paper on my fabric and start cutting it out. Remember when you place your pattern paper on your fabric, the front is going to be on fold and the back is going to be on fold. So let me show you how to place your pattern paper on your fabric and we cut it out. First thing that you have to do, you fold your fabric into two. My fabric is folded into two. This is the front of my fabric and this is the back once you have done that the next thing that you have to do you pick your pattern paper you place it like this so make sure that the pattern paper is on the folded side of the fabric once you're done with that the next thing that you have to do you take your pin pin it all around and then you take your scissors you cut it out when you are cutting the back you're going to repeat the same process The next thing that we have to do, we are going to place our sleeve and cut it out. When you are placing your sleeve on your fabric, make sure your fabric is folded into two and this is the folded side. All you have to do, place it on the folded side, take your pin, pin it all around. Once you have done that, take your scissors and cut it out. First thing that you have to do, you open your front fabric. This is the front of my fabric. And you take the second pieces, you put them together like this. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. You are going to stitch the side seam of your dress. Take it to your sewing machine, stitch the side seam with your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter. Once you have done that, you take your sleeve. This is my sleeve. I fold it into two. So what we are going to do, we are going to stitch the side seam of the sleeve. Stitch the side seam with your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter. And you take the second sleeve, you're going to repeat the same process. Stitch it with one centimeter. Once you have done stitching, take it to your overlocker, overlock the both raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. I 
I have top stitched the both sides seam of my dress together. This is how it is. And I take it to my overlocker. I just overlock the raw edges. This is how the dress will look once you have done making yours. And I also repeat the same process with the sleeve. I top stitch the side seam around and I use the opportunity to hem the sleeve. I fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter and top stitch all around. So what we are going to do, you open your dress like this. And this is my sleeve and you put both side seam together and take your pin to secure that and that you have to do you just continue pinning your sleeve around the armhole of this dress making i have pinned my both sleeve together this is how it is once you have done that the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine and top stitch with your seam allowance my seam allowance is one centimeter and you come down to the second sleeve you're going to repeat the same process stitch it with your seam allowance once you have done stitch it take it to your overlocker overlock the both raw edges I have stitched the both sleeve together. This is how it is. And I take it to my overlocker, overlock the raw edges. And for the neckline, I fold inside one centimeter and then I fold it again 1.5 centimeter. And I take it to my ironing board, I give it a good press. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to top stitch all around. Remember to leave a gap. So I will go ahead and top stitch all around and I will leave about 2.5 centimeter or one inch. So that is where I am going to put my elastic. Once you have done stitching that together, also use the opportunity to hem your dress. I have given it a top stitch all around. This is how it is. And this is my open gap right here. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to put elastic. Before you put elastic around your dress, make sure you measure around your child chest line or neckline before you put your elastic. So what I'm going to do, I will pass my elastic like this, pass it all the way around and end on this other side. I have passed my elastic around the neckline. The next thing that you have to do, you put them together like this. You take your pin, you secure that together. Take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. Stitch it two to three times to secure the stitches. Once you have done that, push the elastic inside and close the open gap. This is the final look of my dressmaking. It's beautiful step-by-step -step tutorial. I use the opportunity to stitch a bow at the chest line. You can stitch a bow, you can decide not to. It is cute and easy to make. This is my sleeve pattern paper. What you are going to do, if you want to have a wind sleeve that look like this, you can see the way the sleeve look and the sleeve is not up to the armhole. So what you are going to do, place your measuring tape like this, you measure inside three centimeter is right here. And I will come down to this other side. I also measure inside three centimeters so that I have a straight line is right here. Once you take that measurement, you take your ruler, you connect it down. I have connected down. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and I will cut it out. I have cut it out. This is how it is. When you are cutting out your sleeve fabric, please do not add any more seam allowance at the hem. All you have to do, take your sleeve to your ironing board, fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter and top stitch. Or you can also fold inside 0.5 centimeter and then you fold it again 0.5 centimeter and top stitch. If you are using inches, you can fold inside 0.25 inch and you fold it again 0.25 inch 
and top stitch once you stitch your sleeve on your dress it will look like this you can see that this sleeve is not all around the arm hole it ends somewhere here that is the difference between when you make your sleeve like this or when you make your sleeve like this i have explained that out of the way so this is how my dress finally look once you've done making your own dress thank you all so much for watching please subscribe like and share the video with your friends and loved ones like is free subscription is free and comment is also free sharing our video is also free so that we can get more traction on youtube thank you all so much and have a wonderful wonderful day bye